Tonight, Justice Clarence Thomas breaking his silence after a report detailed his secret lavish vacations paid for by a top Republican donor. Thomas writes real estate mogul Harlan Crow is among his dearest friends and that colleagues advised him this sort of personal hospitality from close personal friends who did not have business before the court did not need to be reported. According to ProPublica, Thomas joined Crow on swanky trips for over two decades, including to this lakeside resort, taking private jet rides and island hopping in Indonesia on this super yacht, virtually none of which was disclosed. The luxury travel, a stark contrast to the more modest image the conservative justice has projected. States, I prefer going across the rural areas. I prefer the RV parks. I prefer the Walmart parking lots to the beaches and things like that. There's something normal to me about it. NBC News has not independently verified the ProPublica report, which claims Thomas's fellow travelers include GOP donors and corporate executives. There's also just an enormous amount we don't know about what happens on these trips and who gets invited along. Crow says Thomas never asked for any of this hospitality, and he's never sought to influence Justice Thomas on any legal or political issue. The Supreme Court does not have an ethics code, and under federal law, justices don't have to disclose meals, stays at private homes, or other entertainment that is personal hospitality. Tonight, Thomas says he always sought to comply with disclosure guidelines and intends to follow new rules that trips on private jets must be reported. And, Laura, there are calls for more rule changes now. That's right, Lester. Democratic lawmakers want to pass a bill that would require the court to establish a formal code of conduct. But the chief justice says they don't need one, effectively leaving his colleagues to police themselves. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.